Exchange Active Sync works by being a combination both of a transport protocol and a mobile device or MDM management protocol. So if you think of it like a peanut butter cup that's got both chocolate and peanut butter in it, that's probably a good visual analogy for it. Let's say that Libby goes out and buys a new device that she wants to sync with her company's Exchange server. She takes the device home, she takes it out of the box, plugs it in, turns it on, and configures it to sync to Exchange. What's really happening behind the scenes is at first the device has to make an Exchange auto discover connection. Now auto discover is not part of EAS, it's a complementary protocol that's provided by Exchange so that mobile devices and other endpoints can figure out which Exchange server in an organization they should talk to. Once the auto discover exchange is complete, Libby's device now knows which specific Exchange CAS server it should talk to to begin the EAS provisioning and sync process. So Libby's put in her credentials. The device makes an EAS connection using HTTPS to the CAS that was identified by AutoDiscover. And it says, I would like to start syncing now. But remember that because EAS is also a device management protocol, the server may come back with a policy and say, wait, you can't sync until you've applied this policy and I know that you've applied it. So Exchange will pass that policy down to the device and the device will apply it. Once that's been done and the device can show that it's compliant, to the server, then the device can request the start of sync. The server will honor that sync request and start passing data back to the device, and Libby can use her device for its intended purpose, to send and receive email on her company's network. One of the cool things about AutoDiscover is it actually gives you back a whole manifest of different things you might want to talk to as an Exchange client. So it tells you where your mailbox is, it tells you not which CAS server you connected to, but which one you should be talking to. It tells you where your unified messaging mailbox is, if you have one. So let's say that, uh, that Justin pulls out a device and connects to his Exchange server, and the CAS that he would normally talk to in his home region is down. AutoDiscover will point him toward an available CAS, which his device will then connect to. Over time, as you add and remove CAS servers, as people move around from place to place, as you reconfigure your Exchange environment, AutoDiscover will always give you the up-to-date information about where your device should be connecting so that you don't have to manually reconfigure devices for your users.